got the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. To this area with 51, everything in the butterfly. When you go around it like that. man salute to the subscribers that notification gang etc etc don't let none of that get too far ahead of your salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content whether religiously or in passing so we gotta dispel the narrative right now because i see where it's gonna go most notably in john john and don versus sue surf i already know what y'all gonna do see see the thing is you got certain people who will judge a battle based off of things that matter like the bars, who's gonna be able to break the other person down? Who wins the first round? Does it all come down to the third round? Shit like that, right? But then you have people who no matter what the result is, they're gonna say that one person won for whatever reason. And I know I see um, all the blogs and things coming. I know y'all would love for me to sit here and talk about the goof and everything that he's got going on. But you know, I will say this. Karma has no expiration date and karma will always spin the block. When I did dumb shit in my life, I always got paid back by karma. So everything that's going on, whether it's unbiased blog or other people's blogs talking about that brother polite situation with that man is all of his business. Like, I, and, and karma has no expiration date. So when you spew a bunch of hate, negativity, and talk about people in the worst way possible, when that shit comes back to you, you have to deal with everything that comes along with it. And I know a lot of people say, oh, well, why, why we didn't do this with Chris, Chris, Chris? Listen, the man was never convicted of anything. People spoke about it. I spoke about it. But I'm not going to tear somebody down and continually rip them down. But when you see somebody doing the things that this guy has done to people for years, tearing down brands, disrespecting people, talking about people's families, talking about people's uh, relationships and everything else when karma spins the block for them it is what it is and I'm just gonna leave it there so uh, yeah good luck now so to this narrative about John John and Don versus Sue Surf so salute to spicy gang 360 tweets me says and I don't want to hear no Winnie star rapping like that from Ad Vada fly don't gas John John and Don Sue served 2-1 even if he jersey out one round. See there? See that right there? See that 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 right there is where it stops. Like this is we this is what we're not gonna do. And I tweeted him, I said, fam, we not doing the even if he jersey out a round. Come on, like like nah nah nah. We not doing that. Like on Summer Madness, biggest stage, they didn't talk shit to each other all year long. They've been going back and forth, they had a face off. There's no way that we're gonna sit there and be like, even if he jersey out of a round. When did battles start becoming two round battles? These are three round battles. These niggas got three rounds. So we just gonna not count it? Like, even if he jerk like, that jaded thought process is a problem. It's problematic. You can't say, I, I was with him. Everything he said, I was with what he was saying as far as how, you know, don't don't gas it or don't when he start rap. Okay, you can feel how you feel, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear no when he start rapping like that from John John to Don, don't gas, whoopie poop. Sue surf 2-1 even if he jersey out one round. Absolutely not. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Cause honestly, and this is even with speaking to surf, you know what I'm saying? Like we speak, I got, you know, we have conversations and shit like that. I will say this without giving much away. I will say, expect three rounds. I'm gonna leave it at the expect. Do not be surprised if this battle goes three rounds. Expect three rounds from both parties. 
when you look at the biggest stages when Surf battled against Kichi Gotti and then certain other ones, you know what I'm saying? Like when he got out of jail versus Rum Nitty, he was running around doing free. He had a freestyle. The balls on I-95 was like a day or two before the actual battle. But I'm not caping for him. I speak on his consistencies and inconsistencies at times. See, that's the one thing that he knows when it comes to me. And I, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool with John John. We spoke about certain things too. But I let it be known my stance on the not having a third round or not. I feel like at this point, he owes it to himself. You don't owe me personally nothing. You don't owe, you know, the, the, the people be like, oh, you owe battle rap. No, I don't look at it so much. I look at it like the people who defend you, who have to come to bat for you, who have to talk about these things when they put money on you, when they bet with you. Those are the people that you may potentially owe. But you definitely owe to yourself. Like you, you're indebted to yourself to bring a fantastic performance versus John John Don. Because anything less than that, yeah, my man was like, even if he jerseys out of one round, do you know that if he jerseys out of one round, he's gonna it's not gonna be what you think. It ain't going how you think it's going, bro. I promise you it will not <laughs> with it. When's the last time that John John the Don has been down 2-0 going into the third? Been down 2-0 going into the third. Like, you got, some of y'all, when I be reading y'all comments and I be seeing the things that y'all be saying, but I think some of y'all need to put more thought into some of the things that y'all put out there. Because it's like, bro, like, <laughs> do you know what it's going to equal if you're down 2-0 going into the third, that's not gonna happen. John John don't get all the way to Summer Madness to be down 2-0 going into the third. Like that don't, that's just not it. That is not it. I say best case scenario, 1-1 going into the third. And even if it's 1-1 going into the third, you better have one, you know? And I've spoken to people very prominent who know what they know and what the no is is that I, just saying, to expect three rounds from both parties. Don't ask me how I know. If you know, you know. But, you know, I, I definitely have admiration and respect for both parties. And we spoke about certain things, you know what I'm saying? Like I asked why you didn't have a third round versus Nick. Did you even write a third round for some of these joints that you jerseyed out in? And he was like, in certain battles, no, he did not. Didn't write them. If you ain't gonna have them if you don't write them. But I will say this. For this one right here, you probably should expect that. But it's a narrative, you know what I'm saying? Like, the narrative is if he, I, I see the if factor comes back again. There's certain MCs that they say if they bring three rounds, they're automatically gonna win. It does not, ma it does not work like that. Who rebuttals better? Who breaks down the other person's weaknesses better? Who has a better cadence? Who's gonna punch better? Who's gonna deliver to the crowd better? Who's gonna have better crowd control? Who's gonna be able to to, to, to to use better pockets of flows? You know what I'm saying? Like that, these are all things that people are not really taking in consideration when they sit there and say things like my man was saying. Like I like there's not too many tweets that I see that will make me like jump on camera, like nah 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 fam. This is what you're saying is what we're not doing. Like we're not gonna be able to just sit there and say things like don't gas him, he heals, I still got him 2-1 even if he jerseys around. Now, um, in the poll, they actually have Sue Surf winning in the poll, you know what I'm saying? Like they definitely have a, uh, they have him up by just a small smidgen, smidgen, smidgen of a percentage. They got Sue Surf 43 to 40 against John John. And then you got the other ones. They got John John with a 309%, Sue Surf with a 308%. And that's the uh, URL's poll as far as the battle goes, you know what I'm saying? Um, what I must say is uh, I think the most important round of Summer Madness, the most important round will be Sue Surf's third. You know why? Because he don't be having them. And, I've, and the funny thing is, instead of sugarcoating it or like glossing over it, when we spoke on the phone the other day, I highlighted that. I said, yo. And we, we really, really had a good conversation about the third and the importance of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you don't come there to play with Josh. And the thing is, I, fuck, I rock with both parts. I got, I got no picks in this. But in the actual, I mean, not no picks as far as, like, biasness towards anybody. 
But until seen, I definitely, I, I did pick John John to win the battle 2-1 because the third round is what is, uh, is normally the anomaly. And I don't think that we should feel ourselves to a point where we don't successfully complete our job. Like, I, you know, I can't, I can't, there's certain companies, right? Like, like FedEx or like different, like DHL and things like that. You, the most important hour is like the last hours before the trucks go out. You know what I'm saying? We can't work a whole shift and then stop working the last hour before the trucks go out because then the deliveries that are supposed to be made, you know, you, you got to finish, basically. You got you to gotta finish. You got you to gotta finish strong. And I will say this. He, I, I know that both parties know what's on the line. You know what I'm saying? Um, John John has told me he's gonna deliver and I have no reason to believe anything other than that. Besides, start, if this was any other battler or any other person, we wouldn't even be having this conversation because you know people automatically know what John John brings, especially on the biggest stages, especially in front of the biggest crowds. Fuck the chains, fuck the jewelry, fuck the Balenciagas, fuck the Louis Vuitton, fuck the, the red, fuck all that. When it comes to rap and rap ping, rap ping, that's all that matters. If Sue Surf is on stage with just a regular white t-shirt on and no jewelry, then I know he's coming to, you know what I'm saying? I know he's coming to play ball. But if he's up there with trying to be Dapper Dan, with like Dipset at the damn show with all the jewelry and the clothes, then you it's more of a fashion show. I want to see you come to rap. Like, this is the last time. I'm not talking about this, but the next time I talk about this battle, is after it's already done. Like, I'm not blogging on it no more. I don't want to talk about it. I'm not going, yeah, it's unnecessary. Bring your A game. You know what's on the table. He knows what's on the table. But the narrative must end, even if he jerseys out of a round. Who else would you say that for? Spicy gang? Who else would you say something like that for? You wouldn't say that, you wouldn't say that type of shit for anyone else. You wouldn't say I got Murder Mook 2-1 even if he jerseys out of the third. Or I got, uh, uh, who else is on the goddamn joint? I got Lou Castro 2-1 even if he jerseys out. What makes you that comfortable? No, that doesn't, I don't feel no level of comfort in saying that I'm going to pick somebody to win a battle if they don't even finish it. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> oh shit, man. Like, for real, for real, for real. Um, before we get out of here, I just want to say salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Um, I meant what I said early in here with karma has no expiration date. Karma will spin the block on you. And when you get put on to bad times and the vitriol and all of the negativity that comes for it, like whoever it is in life, you know, when you put that with the seeds that you plant into this world, are going to harvest and are going to grow. So I know a lot of the times when negative things go on, people just want us to jump out there and talk about this, talk about that. And, you know, I, I shy away from shit because, you know, it'd be all about the battle rap, all about battles. And the reason why I don't talk about some of these people is because when you do that, you bring attention to them and people who never seen them before go watch, go, go view and all of that. And it's like, nah, ain't no promo for these bozos. Niggas got to get it on their own. I'm not doing it. Negative negatory, I'm not doing it. But I watch. I'll laugh. I'll have my popcorn. Salute to my guy, um, Showtime SP, uh, and all of that, and all of that. But yo, fuck it, we here. What's up with Ben Simmons? My goodness, bro. The situation in Philadelphia has hit an all-time low. You know, and that's the end. Like, if you're here for the, I spoke about the Sue Surf shit. Like, that's the end. Like, this is extra. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just. I'm just giving giving y'all some extra game and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm practicing for my sports career. Um, the situation with Ben Simmons has gotten to an all-time low. Like, for someone who was given a five-year, $170 million contract and entrusted to be one of the brainchilds of the franchise along with Joel Embiid, it's to a point now where he's saying that he's not even, he's willing to not even show up to training camp. He's willing to not show up. He's willing to get fined until he gets traded. Uh, it kills your trade value when you do that, though, because if a team was willing to give up star players and draft picks, once you see how this is rolling out, you start pulling picks back. You start pulling players back. You're like, yo, I'm not giving up three first-rounders and C.J. McCollum if I'm Portland. 
for Ben Simmons because you look at what he's doing. He's showing that he's showing you his hand that he's willing to not show up and he's willing to not play for the team. You know, even if you look at a situation like James Harden, like, I, and I think is I respect Ben Simmons for wanting a trade. I get it, but when you start doing good for the team. They're not. They're they're more reluctant to not trade you. When James Harden showed up to Houston last year and wanted to be traded, he showed up in shape, played the first couple games, started averaging 37 points a game. The team said, "Wink, wink, we'll look for trades for you." <laughs> He's out there balling. We're not trading him. They didn't trade him. But once he started to start lagging off, start gaining weight, stop working out, showed up with the damn clump fat suit on, then they had to make the move. With Ben Simmons, it's like, you can't be like, oh, ye there, me. Like, I'm such the, the victim in this situation when you're trusted to be one of the main guys. And you don't shoot. Like, he doesn't shoot at all. He's not willing to even shoot. Like, I can see if people shoot and they miss and they're not willing to. Like, he's not improving on his game. Now, I heard there's a lot of other teams out there that's interested in him and things like that. But to say you're not going to show up at all, the Sixers may have to test that hand. They might have to test it. Like, you know what? If you're not going to show up, show me you're not going to show up. Show me you're not going to show up. Show me you won't be here, and we'll find you every single day. By November, I believe, 5th, he's supposed to get half of his salary. Find him, find him, find him until he shows up, and then he puts in the effort in, in place. Uh, but the situation in Philadelphia is done. That divorce is imminent. They will not. It's not going to happen anymore. Because even when he goes back there, the fans are going to let him have it. The fans in Philly are are brutal and they will not they're not gonna stand him coming back there with that diva-esque attitude he'll probably get traded to a team like minnesota or some shit like that and won't win there either because like it's minnesota nobody wins in minnesota but to have that kind of contract 150 million dollars and not show up to work jesus christ that shit is crazy but, uh, you know, you already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Gang, gang.